We're back talking about the path to sustainable IT. And now we're going to get the perspective from Mattia Bellerio, who is with Elmec Informatica, an IT services firm in the beautiful Lombardy region of Italy, north of Milano. Mattia, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you. All right, before we jump in, tell us a little bit more about Elmec Informatica. What's your focus? Talk about your unique value add to customers. Yeah, uh, so basically Almec Informatica is a, a middle company from the north part of Italy and is a, a managed service provider in the IT area. Okay, so the, um, the main uh, focus area of Almec is uh, rich digital transformation and innovation to our clients uh, with a focus on uh, infrastructure services workplace services and also cybersecurity services okay and uh, we try to um, follow the path of our clients to the digital transformation and uh, innovation through technology and uh, sustainability yeah obviously very hot topics right now sustainability environmental impact, they're growing areas of focus um, among leaders across all industries, uh, particularly acute right now in, in Europe with the, you know, the energy challenges. You've talked about things like sustainable business. What does that mean? What does that term yeah. you know, speak to and, and what can others learn from it? Yeah, um, at, at, at Renmec, our approach to sustainability is uh, uh, grounded in science and, uh, and values and uh, also uh, in customer uh, territory, but also employee-centered. Uh, I mean, we conduct uh, regular assessments uh, to understand uh, the most significant um, environment and social issues for our business. Uh, with, uh, with the goal of uh, prioritizing what we do for a sustainability future. Uh, our service delivery methodology, uh, employee care, relationship with the local supplier and local area and institution are a um, major factor for us to, uh, to build a social responsibility strategy. Um, specifically during the past year, we have been particularly focused on uh, define uh, sustainability governance in the company based on uh, stakeholder engagement, defining material issues, uh, establishing quantitative indicators to monitor and setting medium to long-term goals. Okay, so you have a lot of data. You can go into a customer, you can do an assessment, you can set a baseline, and then you have other data by which you can compare that and, and understand what's achievable. So what's your vision for a sustainable business? You know, that strategy, uh, you know, how has it affected your business in terms of the evolution? Cause this was, it hasn't always been as hot a topic as it is today. And, and is it a competitive advantage for you? Yeah, yeah. For, for, for all uh, intents and purpose, sustainability is uh, a competitive advantage for Elmec. I mean, it, it's so because uh, at a time of profound transformation in the, work, in the world of work, uh, CSR issues make a company more attractive when uh, searching for new talent to enter in the workforce of our company. Um, in addition, efforts to ensure people's proper work-life balance are a strong retention factor. And uh, uh, regarding our business proposition, uh, Elmex attempts uh, is to meet high standard of sustainability and reliability. Um, our green data center, uh, you say, is a prime example of this approach, as at the same time uh, is the reconditioning activity that is done to give a second life to uh, technology devices that come from back from rental. I mean. Uh, our customer inquiries with respect to Elmec sustainability are increasingly frequent and in depth, and uh, which is why we monitor our performance and invest in certification such uh, as uh, uh, EcoVadis or uh, ISO 14001. 
okay? Got it. So in a previous life, I actually did some work with, uh, with, with power companies. And there were two big factors in IT that affected the power consumption. Obviously virtualization was a big one. If you could consolidate yep. servers, you know, that was huge. But the other was the advent of flash storage. And that was, all, we used to actually go in with the, the engineers and the power company put in alligator clips to measure of, of, of an all flash array versus, you know, the spinning disc. And it was a big impact. So you all want to talk about your, your experience with pure storage you use uh, flash array uh, and the evergreen architecture. Can you talk about your experience there? Why did you make that decision to select pure storage? How does that help you meet sustainability and op operational requirements? Uh, do, do those benefits scale as your customers grow? What's your experience been? Yeah, it was basically uh, an, easy, an easy answer to our, uh, to our business needs. Uh, okay, because uh, you said before that uh, um, um, in Elmec we, we manage a lot of data. Okay, and uh, in the past uh, we 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 see it, we see that uh, um, the constraints of managing so many many data was very very uh, difficult to manage in terms of uh, uh, power consumption or. Uh, simply for uh, uh, the, the space of storing the data. And uh, uh, when, when Pure came to us and uh, share our um, their products, their vision to the data management uh, journey for Elmec Informatica, it was very easy to choose Pure. Why? Um, with values and uh, numbers, we, we create a business case and uh, we said, we, we see that uh, uh, our power consumption usage uh, was uh, much less more than 90% uh, of previous technology that we used in the past, okay? And so, of course, uh, you have to manage a gradual um, deploy of uh, flash technology storage, uh, but uh, it was uh, a good target. So we have tried to um, monitoring uh, the adoption of uh, flash technology and monitor monitoring also the power consumption and the efficiency that the pure technology uh, bring to our, uh, to our um, IT systems. And uh, uh, of course, uh, the IT systems of our clients. Um, and so this is one, uh, the, the first part, uh, the first good part of our trip with, uh, with Pure. And uh, after that, uh, we uh, approach also the sustainability in long term of choosing Pure technology storage. Uh, you mentioned the evergreen models of uh, Pure. And of course, this was a... Uh, uh, um, a game challenge for us because uh, it allows it allows us to uh, extend the life cycle management of our data centers, but also uh, the um, it allows us to improve the um, facility of uh, the facilities of using technology uh, from our technical side. Okay, so we are much more efficient than in the past uh, with the choose of pure storage technologies, okay. Uh, of course, this uh, um, easy, users, easy usage mode, uh, let me say, uh, it allows us to uh, bring this value to, our to all our clients that uh, put their data in our data centers. So you talked about how you've seen 90% um, improvement relative to previous technologies. Um, I, I always, I haven't put you on the spot yeah. because I, I, I was on Pure's website and I saw in their ESG report some, com, you know, it was a comparison with a generic competitor. Uh, presuming that competitor was not, you know, a 2010 spinning disc system. Uh, uh, but, but so I'm curious as to the results that you're seeing with Pure in terms of footprint and power usage, you, you're referencing some of that. We heard some metrics from Nicole and Ajay earlier in the program. Do you think, 
again, I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you think that Pure's architecture and the way they've applied, whether it's machine intelligence or the evergreen model, et cetera, is more competitive than other platforms that you've seen? Um, yeah, of course, it's more competitive, it's more competitive because basically it allows to service provider to um, do a much more efficient value proposition and offer uh, services that are more, uh, that brings more values to, to the customers. Okay, so the customer is always at the center of a proposition of uh, a service provider. And uh, uh, trying to adopt the methodology and uh, also the, um, uh, the value that uh, Pure as inside by design in the technology is, uh, is, is for us very, very important and very, very strategic because, because uh, uh, with uh, like a glass, we can uh, ourselves transfer, try to transfer the values of pure, pure technologies to our service provider client. Okay, Mattia, let's wrap and talk about sort of near term 2023 and then longer term. It looks like sustainability is a topic that's here to stay. Unlike when we were putting alligator clips on storage arrays, trying to help customers get rebates that just didn't have legs. It was too complicated. Now it's a, a topic that everybody's measuring. What's next for Elmec in its sustainability journey? What advice would you might have for sustainability leaders that want to make a meaningful impact on the environment, but also on the bottom line. Okay, uh, so um, sustainability uh, is fortunately a widely spread concept. And uh, our role in, in this uh, uh, great uh, game is to define a strategy aligned with the common and fundamental goals for the future of planet and uh, capable of expressing our inclination and, uh, and uh, particularities. Um, MX sustainability goals in the near future, I, I, say, I can say that are, will be basically free. One, define a sustainability plan. Okay, it's fundamental to define a sustainability plan. Uh, then uh, it's uh, very important to um, monitor uh, the, its emissions and uh, we will calculate our carbon footprint, okay? And uh, least but not least, uh, uh, produce a certifiable and comprehensive sustainability report with respect to the demands of customers, suppliers, and also partners. Okay, so I can say that this three target will be our uh, uh, direction in the in the future. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, pretty straightforward. Make a plan, you got to monitor and measure. You can't improve what you can't measure. So you're going to set a baseline, you're going to report yep. on that, you're going to analyze the data, and you're going to make continuous improvement. Yeah. Mattia, thanks so much for joining us today and sharing uh, your perspectives from the, the northern part of Italy. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for having me aboard. Thank That's you very much. It was really our pleasure. Okay, in a moment, I'm going to be back to wrap up the program and share some resources that could be valuable in your sustainability journey. Keep it right there.